Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace a cutting blade on your riding mower, make sure the ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed. Confirm that the mower deck is at its lowest position and that the clutch actuator lever is in the off position. Now remove the retaining pins securing the support arms and detach the arms to release the mower deck from the frame. Next, release the deck belt from the engine pulley and the belt guides. Detach the clutch cable from the retainer. You can now slide the deck out from under the frame. Use pliers to squeeze the tabs to release the clutch cable retainer. Unhook the spring and set the cable aside. Carefully flip the mower deck over. Secure the cutting blade you're replacing with a wood block or a comparable sturdy object. Then use a 5 8 inch socket to loosen and unthread the blade mounting bolt. With the bolt unthreaded, you can remove the old blade. Install the new cutting blade by aligning it on the spindle shaft with the sharp edge facing away from the deck. Hold the blade in place, then re-thread the mounting bolt and tighten. Return the deck to its upright position. Hook the cable spring on the idler arm and secure the cable retainer on the bracket. Slide the mower deck back under the frame. Secure the clutch cable in the retainer. Realign the belt on the engine pulley and the belt guides. Reposition the support arms and secure them using the washers where applicable and the retaining pins.